Yes, it is me, the Wizard of Wine, returning for another Friday show, the Wizard's Wow, Wine of the Weekend. Hey everybody, welcome. On today's show, I've got a really cool find here. It's, um, it's a wine from Portugal. You have to understand, in Portugal there's about 95 or 100 different grape varieties that are grown. Most people think Portugal, port wines, you know, um, those styles. This happens to be a wine that is 70% Tinto Roriz, which is Tempranillo, pretty much, and 30% um, Torriga Franca. And the Tinto Roriz and the Torriga Franca, it actually, Torriga Nacional, is another one of those grapes that you make really, it's a little bit heavier than the Torriga, Torriga Franca. So these are wines that are fermented and actually make port out of. However, a big insurgence is coming. People are starting to make dry wines with these instead of the port wines. This is the Altano 2007 um, from the Douro Valley. A uh, great little bottle of wine. From the Symington family estates, not a lot of this is made, but this is a great value wine. And part of the show is I want to introduce you guys to things other than Cabernet and Chardonnay. You know, start thinking outside that box. That's our problem. Everybody gets stuck in with this little box. Okay, can only have these kind of wines. You know, wait till we start doing some Greek wines and some Italian wines that, like I did in a show not too long ago, some Falanginas and uh, the wines like that. So this one right here, the 2007 Really nice vintage. I, I have to understand, um, over in Portugal, it's a small country, or I should say it's a, not a huge country, small place where you grow grapes. These grapes are grown in schist soil, so it's it's a little volcanic. Really struggle to have these uh, have these grapes really ripen up nicely. But look at that. Let it get some air. Let it get some air in here. I'm pretty good at this. I'm getting better. All right, so let's give this thing a little smell. Gosh, that's got really nice blueberry, some raspberry scents to it. Um, nothing like a traditional, if you will, Tempranillo from Spain. Um, but let's, uh, wow, that's really, really nice. Some minerality as well. Uh, nine bucks a bottle. You can't beat this wine. Of course, this is this is the wine you're going to look at a in, a, in a wine shop and you're going to go, well, geez, you know what? Should I get it? Should I not get it? What is What are these grape varietals? This is what I'm talking about. Let's give this a little taste. Mm. That's a nice wine. Not something you're going to lay down forever in your cellar. Mineral notes to it. A little blueberry, a little blackberry. Just different. You need a protein with this. You know, this is a great wine. You want a little barbecue, which you want to do. Grill up some meat, invite some friends over, and throw this out and see what your friends think. It's a solid effort. Um, this wine here, again, $9 a bottle from the Douro region. Very nice. Just to make sure. Let's let this open up a little bit more. Kind of really like that nose on it. A little bit cedar as well. Mmm. Not terribly tannic, good effort. It's about a 85, 86, 87 point wine, in my opinion. You know, nothing that says extremely wow, wow, but a great value to price quality ratio. Very good. Anybody, remember, if you're in the Willamette Valley and you're looking to take a tour, the wizard will definitely hook you up. Give me a call. Until next Friday, everybody be safe and have some great wines. See you in a while. Thank <laughs> you.